Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 192 of Factorio with the Z-Block Mart, where our robots just keep expanding our area, as I was hoping they would. Well, they obviously still need manual uh, encouragement, let's call it that. Uh, I guess these swims are gonna be a problem actually. Do we still have Battery. Did we not make five of these? Ah, okay. Do we have ammo in the network as well? I guess that's just this. Let's just go make sure that most of these worms nearby die. Luckily, that is pretty easy now. Also, maybe we need more robot charging for all of this. We could add a charging point to all of the power poles, maybe? Something like that. But this is such a nice sight. Glorious. What are we gonna do with the charging? I guess we are still basing everything off of this, right? <clears throat> I just think we get a different blueprint if we take it up here with the snapping. Let's just do science, I guess. Where did I put the charging points? Oh, here. So if we modify this, do we get something different than earlier? It actually works, snaps to everything. Okay. And we are putting that in here somewhere. Yep. Hopefully we didn't destroy something with that. Why is this? It's not different, it just looks different. I have a lot of copies of this. And I guess we should just delete those then. And then update one and copy that. So, copy. Maybe I'm being too cautious with all these copies, but... Yeah, I'm a little bit worried to lose all of this. <clears throat> Not that it's too hard to do again, but still. Do we not have enough radars in the system? Apparently not. We still need to include all of our mall in the system, of course. So they can take from there directly instead of me having to bring them stuff. I'm also thinking that when we get this to a larger scale, start expanding all around, we will need landfill nearby. So they should be able to uh, place down landfill production all over the place. At least in some choice locations. Uh, I don't remember what that looks like anymore. Maybe we don't even have it saved. This with belt going all the way down the middle. Do we have that? But we can easily make a blueprint out of this. <clears throat> so if we can make something that just stores large amounts of landfill in storage chests for them and put it wherever. Maybe we should make something smaller than this though. Because this is just 
annoying to put down in weird places. I can barely fit it in to any of the stuff we have placed so far, so yeah. But I think that is for a little later. I have this dream that we can start expanding all the way around. <clears throat> of course that will need a lot of robots and a lot of equipment and a lot of landfill. And we're probably not there yet. Are you still shooting? No. Maybe? No. But I think that is for later. Let's maybe focus on the processing units now. Though it would be nice to get the robot started on these areas where we need more resources from. But again, let's wait. Let's just leave all the artifacts. Maybe we should get it connected to the mall though. I keep changing my mind. Let's just do that. Hmm, that's not a little plan fill. Let's grab a little bit more. I just want it connected all the way at to the top for now. Out of both power poles and these robobots now. That's just great. Eh, that makes everything so much more difficult. I can't see where they can connect any more then. So let's grab a few more. And some robot charging points, because we will need to put some of those down in the mall. these guys and why didn't I bring some goddamn power poles well maybe it's not necessary we are basically here now We do not need anything in here, no. Nor here. Now we have radars in the network, that's good. Okay. And then I guess we need to make a bunch of Storage chests. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of this we will actually need, but let's just put it all in here anyway. Into the network, I mean. I'm 
I'm sure at some point we will connect a lot more to this network and then we can have robots from all over actually come and take this instead of me bringing stuff to everywhere. Also for the resource production areas, which would be awesome. We just know that it's going to take a lot of time and space. No, time and power and resources. Because the robots are slow. Why is this not in the network? Because it's not connected. And I'm already out of storage chest. Great. While we do this, I guess the robots might as well do some work. Dang, that's laggy. Mm, grab robot or storage chests, grab some power poles as well while we remember. We don't we will not keep needing this many storage chests, so Let's keep the limit for now. Where did we get to? Here. Good. That's everything for now. And the robots are coming. Good. I guess it is time to stop procrastinating and just get to the stuff that we actually need. We are, or we will have the space over here now with help from the robots. And I guess we'll just leave this here. Remove that. And we will start removing some of these then soon. So, what is the first part of this? We do need some glass and stuff. We will delay that. So, we need to make processing substrates. With ferric chloride, that's fine. We also need these. That's probably the first part. Sure, let's work on that. And let's have that in its own block because we need subcomponents to that. Uh, what am I doing? I want these in here. Gold and copper. <coughs> we need to make these. And then that should be it, I think. <coughs> now, what are we scaling this for? 16 per second for two of these per second. How much more do we need this for? Modules, robots... I guess this is for science, right? Yes. <coughs> so for quite a lot. Can we make a factory with this that just outputs a full red belt? Set this as default. And I guess we will upgrade all of our whoops assembling machines to blue now.
So can we integrate all of this into one production column? We need silicon in putting into these machines. Then this will be put on a belt because we do not want to scale these one to one. I don't think how about one to two because these are small. I am not sure. We need a lot of cobble makers. And that will be put on to build as well then. Mm, I need to look at some designs for all of these, but I probably don't have the necessary machines. So if we are using more blue assembly machines, let's get rid of these. Grab more of those. Grab these and get rid of the old electronics, these guys. Good. So for the gilded copper wire, let's do... Oh, let's just have a look at a one-to-one -one setup, I guess. And then the next question comes, should we do a symmetrical setup or just a, well, something like this with just one single straight line of assemblers? Do we have gold actually on the bus? I don't think so. Dang it. So it's time to be distracted again. Though I will try, I just want to see how we can sort directly for that. We can't do that with our current assemblers, but we should have some from somewhere else, hopefully. We're making cobalt out of duolite, so we... No, that's aluminium, my bad. Where do we get gold? From bamonium? And from... I thought there was something else, but maybe not. So if we had purified it all, we could get some from these, but we don't. So I guess we will have to start sorting rubite, abomonium, crystals. At least until we then have a little bit of gold for enough. Are they called CPUs? No, integrated electronics so that we can make our sorters, so we can do direct sorting for this as well. Again, this will just be a temporary setup then. But we need something to make us either bamonium or rubite crystals. None of them gives us something we need as well, so we can just choose whatever. But let's continue with these producing, or setting this stuff up first, because I get distracted a lot here. Maybe this could be made smaller. This is gonna be the same footprint as this anyway, so... And we can't have them all the way in here, because then this cannot transfer. Except that it actually can. But I'm sure we would have a lot of problems with actually getting everything in and powering everything. Mm. 
these would need gold as well on this but if we had cover here or I guess here And gold here. We could output these somewhere around here. And we would have trouble powering stuff, of course, but that's okay. We can always use substations. So far, so good. This is not for a symmetrical setup, though. Let's just keep that in mind. Also, we probably will not have nearly enough throughput in the inserters here, but... Well, it's only 4 into each per second. And then from there, 8 into that from each per second. And then 12 onto this belt per second. So maybe faster inserters are needed, or stack inserters maybe even. We will look into that. I think I'm okay with this. So let's call that done. Then we have silicon wafers. Now, copper, gold. And this produces everything we need for this. So we don't need to continue the set up from here and we could have silicon coming in here maybe though we're gonna have problems problems there unless we do something like this so this stops there and this takes half of this belt and puts on or we just move this up one tile further but we'll see and then I guess we still underground that before we get it in and these make silicon wafers where are you it here yes okay so then we have this other belt 12 and we will need 24 wafers on a belt so we can't share a belt Would it be better if we had the output of these on the left, maybe? Because I guess we want to end up with our integrated electronics on the right coming down here. At least that's what I'm used to. And that would be a little bit difficult with two inputs on that side and nothing on the other side. Well, I guess we could have plastic coming in over here, for sure. <clears throat> this is gonna be so ugly So we could move this to the other side, move these power poles over one tile. We don't need a lot of plastic, so we could basically put that on the same belt as the gilded wire. Yeah, 
Okay. So this, I guess, will just be put to the near side. Eh, what am I even trying to do? I'm not sure. We can figure that out when we decide on this. So yes, we have the gilded copper wire and the plastic on this build. Let's move all of this up a little bit. Or just over here or something. I just want to design it separately. Which means this will not be here yet. But we have one input belt here at least. And that could easily go here. No. That is our... Uh, these guys. Whatever they're called. <laughs> Sub... No. What are they called? Silicon wafers, of course. So what if we got the silicon into those here and put it out here? Could I stop doing this middle thing and just put them close? It doesn't really make a difference. I'm not sure what is prettiest. So then we will have silicon wafers here. And we can have, well, we would need silicon coming in here. Unless we want to narrow all of this down. As we can have silicon, no we can't, never mind. But it would be nice if we could get the gilded copper wire and plastic belt in here somehow. Or even here, I guess. And have that on this side. And have the other output, or input here and then the output. And that seems to fit nicely. We just need to do some fiddling with belts for that to work. So if we place this underneath but far away. And let's just power it because I don't want to look at the flashing lights. So we have cover coming in here. That stops after this. We have I oh this stuff gold coming in here and that should actually just stop here then we have gold coming out and that can go away where we want it Oh, but we wanted plastic on that belt as well, so let's still keep this something like that. What is even this? Stop it. This will not work with the output, so we are still gonna find out how to deal with this and the input for this, the plastic input. But yes, the gold and plastic will go in here. If we want to pull this down as far as possible, then we need it to be over here, but if we want it up here, then we could move this over to here or here and still run that belt. 
which means this can just go there. So then we have gilded copper wire and plastic here. We have silicon wafers here. We need sulfuric acid past all of this. I guess that can go under the output belt, maybe? The silicon needed to come in here though. I sort of forgot about that. This is the max length of this. Silicon could potentially go here if we just put the uh, gold over here or something. Here, I guess. And this make it past the gold, no, or the gilded copper wire. It cannot. There's so many solutions to this, but I just want something I feel comfortable with, because we could just have these output to a belt up here that goes over and then have this underground under that. I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense, but something like this. And have that go over. We could do the same with the input here, just to ignore this problem we have with the underground build all the time. And then we can remove that. Our gilded cover of wire and plastic could just go here. And that would solve a lot of problems. We still need to fix the input for this. Wait. Why is this going over here? We can't have the input for this over here instead, because then this can't go under it. I don't think. Nah. <clears throat> so this does need to come in and then switch over. I guess we should switch these back around then. And move that back over. And go back to this. Go nanobots, you are fast. So something like this maybe. And we have inputs on these sides for this. Of course, we still have to design this. Maybe this can't work, but we shall see. Uh, integrated electronics. Oh, and we still need the sulfuric acid. I forgot all about that. Mm, how do we fix that? It's almost like we need to go one wider. Or maybe if we do this, we can figure something out. Go 
we can probably make it in here. We just need to move all of this up one tile. Then we need all of the inputs and outputs to be with underground belts, which is fine. And these will have to be long. We can't get everything out here though. Eh. So we basically need to move this over one tile to have the input on the other side, or all of the input on the other side. Not there though, we need more space then. I think let's at least give us ourselves a li little bit more space. So this needs to go over here somehow as well. Then we have another problem with the fluid input. So many problems. Of course, we can still actually just make space for the pipe if we want to. They still need to move up further then. And this becomes more and more annoying. just need this to work so let's accept that it becomes a little ugly or just we lose a couple of tiles it's honestly not a big problem I would just love for this not to be a problem here but whatever we move this up on tile sure and then this comes up right there Most everything powered, dang it. No. <laughs> Holy Christ, why is that so hard? We can just underground this if we want to. We can also go like that, sure. Fluid comes in. Something like this, I think, should work. Of course, these need to go one further just to fix that. Or maybe do something like that.
How much input do we need? Four silicon wafers every five seconds. With a graphic speed of almost 2.5, so... Four every two seconds. That's fine. I think this is capable of that. And power... And this should then just be tileable to the 14 we need. Let's just go to 16. And I think that should work. We can't entirely verify that before we have gold, of course, but let's just grab some of the other stuff and just see that most of it works. Uh, where is plastic? Right here, but we are out. Great. Uh, where is plastic production here? Is it just a matter of catalysts? We are low on green at least. Oh yeah, we're still feeding the catalysts manually. So we need aluminium and more silver, I guess. We can imagine the sulfuric acid coming in as well. I don't need to connect that right now. It's just the last part that isn't working and that's fine. Where is... Let's do this, I guess. So that's silicon, gold, and... What's this? Plastic. That needs to go onto half of this belt. I think this is just the easiest way to do that. We don't have uh, gold yet, so let's not worry about that. And I don't have a lot of loaders, so let's try and optimize this a little bit. To the left goes cover. And then to the right goes silicon from here. Wait, what? Eh. Cover, silicon, plastic. These. This doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Because there's not enough cover on the build, I guess. Wait, there is cover. Oh, this optimized setup that I made is not making a lot of sense. And now we go silicon onto this. That works, that works, that works. This works if it gets gold, right? Yes. As it goes onto the far side of this belt, this goes to the near side, that's good. These work. And output. I guess we should balance that belt because we have more than half a belt. I think I just have a small fix here. What if we just moved some of all this stuff over here and had the output here? Then we can move all of this down one tile. And there's no problems here still. You go near, you go far. This is supposed to come from here. 
we can even move this down one tile now. To here. And then we can move all of this two tiles down, I think. As long as this still works. I just don't want to move everything right now, to be honest. So we would have plastic and gilded copper wire on that belt. We haven't gotten anything into most of these, but have we actually made something? No, we have not. Why did this not get the plastic when it's first in line? Why did the plastic go all the way down here? Maybe the inserts just aren't fast enough. Oh well. It seems to be working, so I think we will just hold this over to where we need it. And let's just say that is right here. And we can remove this. I guess we don't even need to remove that one. This will all go here. And then we need to fix the input pipe here again. That doesn't work unless we move this down. Wait, this can just go here. That works, I think. And this just goes under there. Good. I'm sure there's some bottlenecks and stuff in this, but... For now, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Unless we should think about the input belts a little more. This is less than half a belt. This is less than half a belt. We could combine those. Could we work with the gold being out here though? Not really. Nah, this is okay. This is not blocking anything anyway. Okay, so we have everything we need. Well, we have built everything we need. Now we need to make everything we need, which is uh, gold and fiberglass. Well, that, that's for this. Let's make everything for this first. So gold. And let's actually also connect everything to this. So copper. Silicon, gold, plastic, and output. Bubba. Where is silicon? All the way down here. What is supposed to be on this belt? That's plastic, right? I think so. Yep. So 
So plastic right below, silicon. Gold, we don't know where it goes yet. But this is supposed to be plastic. So something like that. And then we need this in. Those are of course all messed up now. Let's move the gold over one tile, if possible. It doesn't fit very well here, to be honest, but we can do that. Uh, like that. Sure, so that is gold instead. And then this can go... One tile, but it's still a little bit in the way. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This is the furthest distance we can go. Yes, it is. Okay. And we need land down here then. At least for sulfuric acid. Is it time that we also extend the robot network down? I mean, we might as well. It will be a little annoying to get this through all of the robot stuff, but then we are supposed to be removing the robot parts and stuff well, when we get further far enough out. Hmm. Let's just focus on the sulfuric acid first. If I hadn't run out of pipe at least. <clears throat> Good. And we have plenty of that still, that's good. That goes all the way in. These outputs are not set up correctly yet. This one is difficult to make work. I guess we should just design it with an extra tile at the top here. It would make these a little bit Prettier as well. And I think it was is set up incorrectly. Yeah, this is not set up right. But now it should be. So we should copy paste this on top of everything. Good. I didn't set this up yet. Great. Why is this set as input? What? Output, output. And we should be able to drag this right, yes. But we are outputting a full build here. So we should balance it.
think these go to the right. No, they don't. Great. Whoops. Don't do that, please. Okay. Dang it. Let's not worry too much about that right now. Good. So we need... What was it again? Gold, of course. Good. So gold is the next step. Let's put that in its own thing and think about that for a bit. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.